And now before we pray together, let's just take a minute or so just to make our own private prayers in our homes, just quietly praying in our hearts to God, our own personal requests. We thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers and are able to do far more than we even think. And as we've been singing this song, oh, blessing and honor be unto you, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we want to honor you too with our giving. And we pray that you take this money which we have given to the church through different means under lockdown to build up your church here and throughout the world. And as we think of the world, we do pray for things we read on the news like the refugee camp in Greece that have been burnt down and they have nowhere to go. Have mercy, Lord. Provide a place for them, for safety. Help with the animosity of the local people to bring reconciliation. Give wisdom to those who are organizing things there and making decisions. And may uh, those who believe in you there be a, an encouragement and uh, be able to have a positive influence in the situation. We pray too for other countries. We think of our friends in China and um, we pray for creativity in how churches meet under restrictions and how they have fellowship together and how they Share the gospel with neighbors and friends. Strengthen them, Lord, we pray. May they know that you are with them, guiding them. You are the source of their wisdom and strength. And you, with you, there was always a way. We pray, too, for our missionary friends in Cambodia who um, are told their visas aren't going to be renewed. And if that's the case, then many will have to come home and be in quarantine for two weeks before they can apply to go back again. We just pray that you resolve this situation. We particularly think of the Hunt family from Christon who are involved in this, that you will provide a way of where they can stay and be together as a family there, serve you um, in the future. We think too of, of many students who have become members here and or have come to being part of our fellowship who've gone back to work in different places maybe some not be able to get work we just pray for them that you'll provide for them we think of Yol who lost his father recently comfort for him Lord, there in Indonesia and we pray for our own country father uh, for Churches throughout UK coming out of lockdown. Give wisdom, we pray, Lord, to how this is done in a way which cares for your people and enables us to meet together for worship and fellowship together and yet be able to keep the rules for the pandemic. We pray too for our government as they make decisions, trying to get the balance between physical health and mental health and economics. Lord, how much they need your wisdom. We thank you for your promise that uh, when we ask you for wisdom in faith, you who give generously and without, uh, 
without uh, condemning, will give what we ask. We long for them to turn to you and depend on you so that they may know your guidance in all this. Help us, Lord, as we talk about the pandemic restrictions to neighbors and friends, to be positive in an atmosphere where everybody seems to be very critical and just to be appreciate the wise and the good things that have been done so far and to be good examples in this climate of today. We pray, Lord, from our church members here. Some are sick. Some are waiting for results. As we, we do pray for healing for them, for good medical attention and treatment. And we pray that even in their restricted lives of being in hospitals and uh, being uh, mo immobile, immobile in many ways, that their hearts will be at peace and they will be able to uh, speak for you to visitors, to medical staff, and realize that they are an important part of, of your church still and able to serve you where they are. We pray for students uh, who are still studying from home, stuck here, and able to get back to their home country. Think of Yalin, who is able to find work here and yet can't get back to Papua New Guinea. We pray for your leading her on forward and giving her peace and patience as she waits. We think of Linda Ambi waiting for her um, funding to do her PhD and we just pray that you provide that in, in time before the visa expires. And Lord, we, we pray for many of our congregation who are um, tired of being cooped up in their homes. We do thank you for opportunities to visit and to phone. We do pray for good weather this week so that we can meet in gardens. Guide us all, Lord, remind us of the people that we could visit and phone and <clears throat> encourage. And we pray for our society around about us, Lord, and uh, their struggles with coping with the restrictions and uh, lack of work and uh, concerns about children going back to school and some who are, are going back to, to work and, and unsure whether they're safe. We long for them to have the peace that you give to them. We do pray for um, freedom from violence and disobedience, pray for cooperation with the authorities. We again pray wisdom for those who are making the rules and regulations our, our first minister and we think of um, Jason Leach who's the clinical advisor and his communication with uh, the, through the media. We just pray for wisdom for these, these folk and a humility to uh, hear, be recognized that you are the sovereign God. And now, Lord, we pray for David as he opens up the word to us this morning. And that although we know that he has recorded it already, we pray that you will just inspire it to our hearts this morning and that you will enable us to receive good things from yourself to build us up in our faith and give us hope and and help for the coming week. Amen. Let's just say the Lord's Prayer together as we finish this time of prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours are the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever. Amen. 
Now we're going to sing again uh, this song, uh, Out of the Darkness You Shine. Your name is greater. And it quotes the verse from Romans 8, that if God is for us, who can be against us? Let's sing together. <laughs> 